I'm Jivan and I'm the president of Breaking Nurse. I'm Ray Ying, so I'm a DDC year one, so like a freshie in DDC. Hello, my name is Bradford, I'm from NUS Fung Styles. Hi, I'm Zanda, so I'm Justitude's treasurer for this uh, AY. Basically, what our club do is, uh, as from the name, you can tell that it's uh, a b-boy club. Basically, we do breaking, or probably you have heard um, people call it break dancing, but uh, we usually don't call it that. We just call it breaking. So, what our club does is you can. Uh, what's prominent about our club and our type of dance is when you see people um, kind of spinning around on the floor, doing their head spins or they start getting down on the floor, you know, dancing on the, the ground, doing like baby freeze, windmills, stuff like that. Uh, even like flips and all. So that's basically what breaking is. And as for our club, it's been... Our club is... It isn't a very old club. It just passed its 10 year anniversary two years ago. So it's uh, 12 years now. <laughs> yeah. And our, you don't have to be very... Uh, you don't have to be physically fit to do this type of to do this genre of dance. It's more of just uh, grooving, having fun, and just expressing yourself through the dance. It's, uh, it's just a just a, like an art form. It's a hip hop crew, and like we dance hip hop. Yeah, we place a lot of emphasis on basics and application of the basics, uh, and then we also allow members to like explore freestyle. We also venture into other genres, especially during like camps. Oh, we are a dance club. Uh, basically, we focus on the locking and popping uh, dance genre. So our club practices mainly jazz dance styles, street jazz, jazz, jazz funk. And our club holds weekly open classes and technical classes where we learn choreography and jazz techniques from our residential choreographers, Z and Yu Singh, and also external dance studio instructors. On top of like the classes that are held uh, normally, that is conducted by instructors, we also have um, sessions, which is kind of like a free and easy thing for where member, where all our club members will come down on a day and we'll just uh, practice together, dance together, and it's kind of like a social um, social event kind of thing where you know you're dancing together, but you're also meeting your friends, and then maybe at, at the end we all go for supper together. We also have um, things like uh, Freshly Bonding Day. So that's a day where um, all, the, all the members will come down and it's mainly for the, for the juniors, but it's also a good opportunity for the seniors to ming mingle and get to know each other better and also for the whole club as a whole to bond. So on top of that, we do have an um, in, uh, internal event at the end of every semester. So for Sem 1, uh, we have this thing called uh, freshly showcase. So this is an opportunity for our um, year, year one members to uh, give a hand at uh, try and choreo uh, item together with um, their batchmates. So for Sam 2, we do have this thing called um, Old School Night OSN, right? So this is an internal battle event that is focused at um, giving our members like a more safe space to try out battling because it can be quite intimidating at the start, right? Yeah, so this is a complete internal thing. It's, it's a very friendly event, but you do get a try at um, battling. Most of, for most members, it's their first time. So it's quite, a, it's quite a fun event. So apart from all these events, we have um, a yearly concert with uh, CAC, Cactus. Yep, this is normally quite a big item for uh, Fang because our items normally have quite a lot of people. So it's a good, very good opportunity to make a lot of friends. And for most mem most of our members, it's the first opportunity to perform on a really big stage. Mm, so for our club, we actually have three crew classes. And this involves our open class and our classes. And other than our weekly crew practices, we also work with various performances that the group takes part in throughout the whole, the whole year. The last AY, we actually got the chance to perform for the Christmas recital and that was probably one of the best experiences because it was our first dance performance, public dance performance as a crew and even though the practices spanned over winter break, 
was actually one of the best memories I had last year. The kind of activities that are club for, there are many different types. So other than the the normal, the regular performances that we have, uh, it could even be, for example, like CC Festival or Student Life Fair. Uh, other than all these uh, regular performances, we also that like, the major one that like, uh, said early, mentioned earlier, Cactus. However, the one thing that is different, that I feel that our club has that is different from the uh, most of the other clubs is that we also have internal battles because uh, one thing about breaking is there is battling battling and cyphers but other than joining outside we have new we want to introduce new members to battling and ciphering so we have our own internal battles also where it's a, a little bit more of a friendlier setting and where everyone can just have fun and after a whole semester of practicing they can uh, kind of like test out uh, their skills and what they have so those are some of the activities. Uh, we also have get-togethers like chalets or barbecue and just um, those uh, club bonding activities. We do have our semester classes which are open to everybody to come and join us. Uh, so these uh, open classes are actually compulsory for uh, DVC members. They help our instructors and they tend to cover different aspects of hip-hop like groove or basic drills, floor work, application to follow. Um, on top of our own training, uh, we also have many other activities. So for example, we have um, fun meeting classes, um, senior sharings and choral projects. So all of these are like held by our own members and they can be seen as um, a sharing class within the crew also. Um, there's internal competitions, BBC camp, where we have workshops of different genres and are able to like learn how to choral ourselves. Um, internal battle, which is like a 2v2 freestyle battle, so you really get exposed to like, like dancing freestyle, which is really super new la, for, most, for most of us. To summarize my experience in the club, I think uh, Breakiness provides uh, every member two different kinds of experience. Uh, one of which is the performing side, the other one is the battling or going against another dancer side. So to start off with the performing side, um, every year we do cactus and that is probably the highlight of everyone, every member's uh, experience in the club. Uh, it gives them a good experience to actually feel what it's like to perform in front of a large group of people. Uh, and also there are like certain smaller performances that happen around the year but um, yeah that is for members who are more enthusiastic. Uh, secondly for people who are more inclined to battle, um, we actually have gems uh, bi annually and um, it's open to anyone who is uh, who's just willing to just go out and uh, you know showcase what they, what they learn. For my experience in the club, it was really really very wonderful. I actually started out in this club as a freshman and then subsequently I continued on as part of the EXCO as the vice president and of course now I'm the ex-vice president ah. <laughs> So yeah, it was a very very wonderful experience as a freshman, first time going into a dance uh, CCA Everyone was very very welcoming, very willing to teach me, guide me through all the trainings It was a very nice family atmosphere that I kept on wanting to go to and that, that was part, more of my personal aspect but for the technical aspects, I got a chance to learn many many different sub-genres of jazz I got a chance to perform, choreograph a lot of performances and I think that's something I'm also very very grateful for because you do not get these kind of experiences easily elsewhere so yeah, my experience in Jesuit has been a very very wonderful experience both personal and technical I've decided to join Vikinas because it's not like the other dance club. For like people who don't know breaking, like to them it may seem like it'll take a lot of time and effort. And it's also not easy to learn like a specific like skill, such as like what we do like flare, windmills, like etc. However, like the satisfaction that we get after learning that specific move is something like you won't get elsewhere. And also like for for me personally, like I've been breaking for a few years already. Like breaking gives me the uh, the form of being free and creative. And it's also sort of like a 
stress relief for me. So I really enjoy baking and I really encourage people who want to try to just come and join our club. So first things first is because it's, there's no audition, so I feel more at ease like um, being able to um, be put in a place where all of us are being taught at the same level and uh, all of us just uh, improve at, although some of us improve at different pace but it still feels like all of us are progressing at the same time like, and the encouragement from seniors to juniors, top down level and uh, up um, from down up is all very like encouraging and really helps us to grow together and there, there really isn't a clear demarcation like oh you senior you junior so I'm learning from you it's more like it's more like we're just sharing as a club together and everyone is really very receptive uh, of the things like if you want to if you want to like improve certain moves you can just feel free to go up to any seniors like when we have when we have get together time then all of them yeah, they are very encouraging to like help uh, to teach us and sometimes like, like I take very long to pick up certain skills so I'm very thankful for the seniors and my batchmates who like really dumb it down and then, it's, and then all of us like just practice together so it's really very encouraging so that's one and secondly it's um, I also alluded to previously is the culture of the club I think the culture of the club is really very warm very friendly very encouraging and um, it's really focused on each of our own progress rather than the entire club's progress. So um, I find it I find it very um, a very good place to go and develop my skills. So that's why I decided to join Funk Styles and I ha- I do not regret my decision at all. There's this uh, particular trend which is very interesting across the years that I've been in DDC. So when the freshies first join in, they always like to wear very sporting clothes. So like dry fit shirt or like shorts or like FBTs. And like typical, you know, like sports shoes kind. However, <laughs> once they hit their DDC senior year, so after they go into year two, year three, uh, the trend is that the clothes get baggier and then the pants get longer. <laughs> and uh, people start wearing, or rather, where the freshies like to wear a lot of caps. So they like, you know, like caps, then they all look down and they're like, oh, I'm cool. But then afterwards, towards the senior years, then they'll start uh, playing more around with, uh, I would say, their looks, lah, their outer image. So they'll wear less caps. Uh, girls usually put on a bit more accessories. I would say the funniest one would be their shirt size. Goes from either S or M. Uh, even the guys, the guys also sometimes like to wear M size. Then suddenly you go all the way up to triple XL. So the shirt I'm, car- I'm currently wearing now is actually triple XL. Yeah. So the sizes of the shirts get baggy and baggy. Uh-huh.